Do you feel trapped? I look around me and see people that feel trapped everywhere. People are trapped by their mortgages, trapped in relationships that they don't want, trapped in jobs that grind them down and make them unhappy. And yet we all just rumble along feeling trapped, unfulfilled, like maybe there's something we should be doing but we don't quite know what it is and our fear of what might go wrong or our expectations of what we must have, the new kitchen, the big badge that says I'm a person that is worthy and has arrived, you know, the veneer of a happy relationship even though it's quietly destroying us. We feel trapped by these things, by these badges, by fears of what might be, by expectations of what we have to have. Someone referred to this as a golden cage to me recently and it really resonated because for many years of my career I was in the golden cage. I had the big badge, I had the great income, I had the security and the executive home and the big fat mortgage and I don't think I ever would have left. I think I would have stayed there like it was good work and I enjoyed it but at some level there was more I needed more I had more to offer and I was out of alignment and I was trapped and in the end you know the inevitable restructure gentle nudge opportunity for change was the thing that tipped me over the edge into freedom. And instead of going for the next big job or becoming a CEO or buying a bigger house or, you know, carrying on that treadmill, I took the leap. I took the leap to freedom, to alignment, to fulfillment. And now I am not a VIP anymore. I'm not the deputy chief executive of a wonderful place. I don't have people that look to me for direction and guidance anymore. But I get to serve and I get to help other people notice the ways in which they are locking themselves in that golden cage. And I get to help them find alignment and meaning and purpose and the confidence to take the leap with all of the fear but take the leap towards something that feels better and that is freedom and it feels good and I don't think I could see it when I was in the cage I think it took some help and some deep conversations to help me find the courage to leap into the unknown and find the faith in myself that I could make it work and that I would make it work. And I have, and I did. And I hope for you that if you are in a cage, that you can find the courage to at least have a conversation and explore what freedom might look like. So if you are working 50 hour weeks, or if you are in a job that is quietly destroying you, if your health is on the line, if you feel empty, even though every badge and accoutrement and mod con tells you that you should feel full and great and like you have arrived, then hit me up for a conversation and let me help you explore that because there is more and it can be done and you can do it. So have hope in that and let's talk because that's where it starts and where it ends could be somewhere you couldn't have imagined in your wildest dreams was possible for you but it is it is possible that's all
That's all I've got to say. If something has resonated with you, drop me a line, let me know. Uh, I would love to hear from you. And it's good to talk, for sure. Thank you for listening.